as corn emerges, it's time to think about evaluating corn stands and stand assessments. When I do them, I like to bring out my tape measure, uh, something to mark that first starting point of that one one thousandths row and a hand shovel. This is a nice little guide as far as if you need a refresher on what that one one thousandths of an acre looks like. As far as in this particular situation today, I in the row space is 30 inches, so I'm measuring 17 feet 5 inches of row length. Like I said, measure out that one one thousandths of an acre based on your row width. Count the number of live plants in the measured area and then repeat this process multiple times across the field. This will provide a really good accurate estimate of number of plants per acre. So average the counts and multiply the average number by 1000 to obtain that plant population per acre. Out here, the goal as far as what was planted was 35,000 seeds per acre and I did count 33,000. I did want to take a look as far as a gap that I found when I was taking a stand count out here. And uh, so you want to take your hand trowel shovel and carefully uh, dig through the soil and see what you can find. I found a couple of interesting things out here as far as I did find the seedling. Finally, there was some uh, corn stalks some residue from last year that was hindering its growth. It was growing laterally through that soil. And then also did find a, a white grub out here. So... So yeah, continue when you take stand counts, randomly select locations. Don't intentionally avoid areas that have missing plants or gaps. You know, Try to avoid selecting rows representing the same plant or row unit. Uh, just randomly take your counts out here. And like I said, it's super important to see what's going on in, in the gaps out there. And then additionally, look at emergence uniformity. Uh, differences in crop stages, plant spacing, and seedling vigor. Like I had mentioned, if there is poor stands or gaps, it's super important to investigate that. So uh, dig up those seedlings and check the plants for symptoms such as, say, seed rots or seedling blights, you know, rotting seed, brown discoloration in the mesocotyl and seminal roots, or just plain missing plants. Uh, anhydrous burn, you'll see an uneven emergence, plant wilting and discoloration, uh, brown roots that appear burnt, could be herbicide injury. And then insect is issues, seed corn maggots, wireworms, cutworms, and uh, possible planter issues. So those are just to name a few to think about. Enjoy scouting this season and please be safe. Thank you.